A few days ago I ordered a Dometic 12-volt refrigerator and so today I'm going to do an unboxing and just go through the basic setup and uh, show you what I got. This fridge unit is the CFX 95 DZW and it's supposed to be 95 liters in the size but that's actually the exterior dimensions. The interior dimension is 85 for the capacity. Here's the technical specs. Basically you've got 12 volt, 24 volt, 120 volt and it's about 37 decibels. It's pretty quiet and the weight is 70 pounds for the actual weight of the unit itself. The rating inside of here is 109 kilowatt hours. There's three items in the box of the Dometic fridge. One is um, the instructions and then there's two plugs, two cords that go with it. One is for a standard uh, three-prong 110 outlet and the other is for a cigarette lighter. It's a 12 volt uh, plug-in. I guess this is also 24 volt Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the power here at my sister's house and get the thing uh, cooled down and then I'm going to read through the instructions on how to use the Wi-Fi app and how to use the controls. So anyway, I'll go through those, give you my first impressions. Okay, all plugged in, just gotta let it cool off. I put this on a dolly so I can move it around easily, get it out here to the step van. Now when you start it up, I think it's in Celsius because it says 11 and 10. It's been running for about 20 minutes or so, so I think it's starting to cool down. Uh, from what I read in the instructions, you've gotta press the set button in order to change the mode. So you press that once. Now it's showing temperatures. I'm gonna change it a second push. Third push is now Celsius and push the plus sign to switch to Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna do this all in Fahrenheit. So now it's in uh, Fahrenheit. You just let it go and now it's displaying 51 and 50 uh, degrees in Fahrenheit. The way this is set up is I have two chambers here and I can assign each chamber, one to be a freezer, one to be a refrigerator or both to be a refrigerator or both to be uh, freezers. I can do any combination and set the temperatures however I want. So. To get started, I'm going to make the smaller one a freezer, I'll make the larger one a refrigerator and see how that goes for a few weeks. So the setup today is I'm just going to do this. I'm going to let it cool down here for a few hours and then I'll be putting it into the step van uh, switching over to 12 volt. But I figured I would just cool these down using the house power so I don't have to use the uh, starter batteries on my step van. I don't have house batteries yet. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is change the small chamber, which is this one that looks like a rectangle with a little chunk out of it. So that's the smaller chamber over here, and I'm going to change that temperature. So I want to press set once, press set again a uh, second time. Now it's changing this, and I'm doing minus. So now I'm at uh, 30 degrees. So that should be one notch below freezing. I'm going to let it sit there and now it is displaying the current temperature which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit and it'll be working to get it down to 30 degrees. Uh, for the other side, for the larger chamber, I'm going to change that to 38 I think. I read online that 40 is sort of the cutoff point that you want to be below that for the refrigerator so I'm going to set it for uh, 38 for now. So I press it once. Press the minus sign again. I'm at 36, 34. Um, I want to have it on 38, so I'm going to set it there. And let it blink, blink, blink. And now it's set. So now, according to my understanding, both chambers are set. Uh, the large one is set for 38. The small one is now set for 30 degrees. 
So I've got all those set up. It's set on uh, Fahrenheit. I think all the manual controls are done. The only thing that's left to do is to set up the Wi-Fi. But before I do that, I'll show you what the chambers look like inside. This is the larger chamber here. And whoops, I got them backwards. This one is the smaller chamber. So this one's going to become the freezer here. It has a basket and then a second basket that is deeper. I still have the silicone gel packs in there. And over here is the larger one. And again, a basket. Then there's a light that appears when you open the door and when you close it, obviously the light will go off. It has handles on the edges. I'm told these hinges can be reversed so that it opens from the opposite side, so you can turn this all the way around. From what I understand, there's a USB charging plug on the side of this, and it looks like it's located down near where the plugs for the power go into the unit and the fans. It took about 10 or 12 minutes for the cooler to go from the temperature at startup down to the desired temperature that I set each of the cooler and the freezer at. So you can see now the uh, temperature inside is 33 and 27. And that shows the live temperature. I have it set, and there's three different settings you can do for efficiency. Um, the default is for the most efficient for being used with startup batteries in a car. So there's three settings, one's for house um, power. The other is if you have solar set up for minimal and then there's a third setting running off of car batteries. So it detects the voltage and will shut off the fridge so that you don't drain your startup batteries on your vehicle. So that's a pretty cool thing to have because here for about the next five or six weeks, I'm gonna be running this off of my startup batteries um, on the step van here. And then eventually in December, I'll have new house batteries set up with solar. Basically, to get your app set up for your phone, you have to turn on Wi-Fi in the fridge. It's off by default. To do that, you push the set button six times until it gets to the Wi-Fi mode. Then you press the plus or the negative sign in order to turn it on or off, depending on which mode it's in. So here I push it one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Now I press the plus, and now Wi-Fi should be on. It blinks a couple of times, there it goes, and it's enabled. You've got to go here and choose your Wi-Fi, which is going to be this CFX up here. So I push that, and then it shows a password. The default password is going to be eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be the password. And then you click connect, and it should connect to Wi-Fi. Now I click on the desktop and I go to an app called CFX. It's this green one right here. I launch that. It's launching the app. Connecting. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm just uh, seeing what happens here. Connection guide is down here. I don't know if I need to do that. I'm just gonna wait a second. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this connection guide, see what happens. Select your type, I have this one. Enable cooler, connect. So it should be connected. Gonna go back, connect. All right, I'm not sure if I've got it. I seem to be stuck. I've gone through this setup on my app probably, oh, 10 times, connecting, disconnecting, Wi-Fi, typing in passwords, turning off the network, on the network, and one time it actually showed the display of the temperatures on here like I had a final connection. So I, I didn't have the video running, I was going to go back and go back through the steps and activate that again, and I've never been able to get that screen to display again. I've probably been here 20 minutes working on this. So I would say this is the failing point for this particular refrigerator is the app. At least on the Android is almost impossible to connect, at least my experience. Perhaps they'll update this in the future, but personally, I can't see any real effective use for an app on this. All the controls are on the front that do everything you want. Why would you need the app 
and it also sucks a little bit of extra power to run the Wi-Fi network which I don't want to be wasting power so I can't see any need for the app um, I'm gonna turn it off and not use the Wi-Fi but that's my critique I love the cooler looks really great um, seems to function well uh, it's pretty quiet uh, but the app thing I think is just sort of a gizmo and a selling point uh, not really very effective and not very well implemented um, anyway so I'll do an update here in a couple of weeks after I'm actually using this freezer and cooler for a little bit longer.